everyone, it's Jennifer Elizabeth with Perry Peekless Vlogs. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Today's video is for an open collab that I am hosting with two other channels. Um, so there's three channels hosting this open collab. The channels are myself, Perry Peekless Vlogs, Pretty Designs and Thrifty Finds, and Jamie Leesman. And in this collab, we upload on Tuesdays. And it's called hashtag Journal Jubilee. And you can upload anything that has to do with a journal, you can do a junk journal, you can do scrapbook, you can do a planner, joy journal, glue book, anything basically, even an art journal. So anything that you are putting together in a book, like what you see in front here, would qualify. Um, you could even upload a short. And honestly, if you can't upload on Tuesday, that's our goal, but we never want anyone to feel stressed or pressured. Like if you can upload on a different day, that's totally fine as well. The goal is always Tuesday, but you're welcome to upload anytime. Just go ahead and let us know that you uploaded. And the way that you can do that, the best way that you can do that is to please put hashtag journal jubilee and also put our three channel names in the title. That way we get notified and also drop us a comment. Let us know that you joined our journal jubilee. We would love to have you. Um, so with all that being said, what I'm going to share with you is the rest of the St. Patrick's Day and some spring theme that I worked on this past week. So let's go ahead and open up the journal. Okay, so we can start with this spread right here. I'm going to go in close so you can see it. As you can see, there's a lot of gnomes and some leprechauns. I used a really um, pretty crafting paper. I got those from Mike. I got this paper from Michael's. It was in a book uh, last spring, actually. When I hold it like that, the angle is a little bit better with the light. You can see I um, what I did was I lined my paper around the picture with some beautiful washi tape that I recently got from Tamu. And then I did the same with this paper as well. With this page as well the stickers are mainly from tamu there's also some from dollar tree and amazon and i'm gonna actually and i'm actually gonna hold the camera like this as well so you can get a better view of it because there was some reflection from the light so that's the first one that i did i already shared this one with you last week this is the next page that I did right here. As I um, got further into my journal, I still focused on St. Patrick's Day, but I kind of leaned it a little bit more towards spring by adding like the flowers right there. Um, and then just a little bit more spring colors. You'll notice I used this as opposed to washi tape to just kind of start to bring in some more spring colors. This is a St. Patrick's Day card, clearly but it has a spring feel with those flowers. So I thought it would be a nice transition. This is a, a pocket that I created out of an envelope so I can store things in there like this and other ephemera. I added my ATC cards. It's kind of like a little um, flip book right there. So you have the rainbows with this really beautiful paper. And then you can see they're right here. I just taped them. So that way I can store them and then if I want to send them to anyone, they're easy to remove from the journal. And this way I know where all of my crafting type items are for St. Patrick's Day, or at least where the majority of them are. So then when you open up this card, I used one of those, um, another one of these guys. It's from Dollar Tree and it was part of that felt craft kit for St. Patrick's Day. They had three different characters. There was two versions of the kit. And um, they gave you two of each character, so it was a six piece. And again, I uh, added a little bit of spring right there. This is not a St. Patrick's Day um, picture that I added, but it still says spring, so I thought it was perfect. Also, as we get further in, you'll notice that I have a lot of blank areas, and you'll see a couple of other um, items that I added because this is a junk journal as well. So that way I have room to add next year, and also if I wanted to put pictures or any other ephemera, or even if I wanted to write anything, I gave myself some space for that. Now in here is where I start to get into um, other things, which I'll explain in just a moment. I love this St. Patrick's Day card. I think it's really pretty. And I think that this spread right here just basically is such a nice um, 
com they complement each other so nicely with a little bit of the forest theme right here. And then this beautiful, beautiful picture. I just love this gate. I feel like we're in a field in Ireland when I look at this. I just think it's so beautiful. Again, this is um, washi tape. So here, what I did was I added some paper. And these are little post-its, so they do stick. But, um, so again, I can add stickers, I can journal, I can put a picture on here. I'm leaving myself room as I add to this journal so that way that I can use this again next year and anytime I want to in the future, really. So I'm leaving this card blank for right now. Probably gonna add a few more stickers, but uh, that's how it's gonna stay for right now. I, I like leaving myself extra room. And here, here's another pocket, and you can see that I added some cute little papers that I have. You know, they're blank. That way if I want to journal, make any lists, add pictures, stickers, ephemera, whatever I want to do, I have it right here in this pocket. And this is another ATC card. Here's where we're going more into spring. So this is not St. Patrick's Day theme, but I just think that it complements the page really well. We have butterflies here, which are very spring. And then here's another really pretty card that I left blank for later use. Then I attach this little paper and I use these really cute um, paper clips that I got from Dollar Tree. And we are winding down. This is the last page that I'm going to share with you this week and the last page that I've actually done. We're going to be going into spring and Easter next week, so I wanted to wrap up all my St. Patrick's Day crafting. So, nice blend. We got this, this right here, which is spring-themed. I thought these puppies were just so adorable. And again, lots of room here. And then this really cute card. And I love, I love how they play off of each other because here we have a goofy picture, but they're still animals. And then here we have just a sweet little precious picture of these little puppies. So I think that they kind of complement each other, even though they're complete opposites. <laughs> and again, I gave myself some paper and left myself some room. And that's where we're going to end today's uh, Journal Jubilee video. I hope that you guys like what I shared with you in this week's Journal Jubilee. Remember, please put in that hashtag Journal Jubilee and watch the other videos that are contributing. I had a couple of other channels leave comments on my video. Not sure of the other two channels' videos, but I know I saw at least two comments of people that are interested in joining us. Hopefully, they will join us, if not this week, very, very soon. Be sure you're putting in that hashtag Journal Jubilee so you can follow everyone's videos. And if you contribute to our um, collab, again, just go ahead and all we ask of you is that you use hashtag Journal Jubilee. You aim to upload on Tuesday, but you really can upload anytime. The goal is always Tuesday. And you put our three channel names in the title. Drop us a comment and let us know that you contrib contributed. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And also, don't forget to go to Jamie Leesman's channel and Pretty Designs and Thrifty Finds channels. Watch this week's contribution to Journal Jubilee collab and see what they uploaded and show everyone some love. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment down below, like this video, hit that subscribe button and the post notification bell so you know next time I upload and every time I upload. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.